I want to thank you all for coming out today. I tell you, this is a blessing to see all of you from all walks of life. Thank you. Okay, no justice. No peace. Hands up. No shit. All right. We got it. We pray, God, that you will have mercy on our children. We pray, Father God, that you will send peace into this land. Justice! That's the challenge of today, to take what we know in our hearts, that we can't breathe until everybody can, and that only by working together across differences of race and differences of class and differences of gender and differences of faith, and in Connecticut most especially, differences of geography, only together can we make a difference it is still hard to believe that millions of us saw Eric Garner die. He died with what looked like a half dozen heavily clad policemen standing on his body, twisting and crushing him, especially his head and neck. He was a big man too. They must have felt like clumsy midgets as they dragged him down. What is the hatred of the big black man, or the small black man, or the medium-sized black man, the brown man, or the red man in all his sizes that drives the police brutality mentality? No shoot! No peace! No peace! We can't breathe! We can't breathe! Don't shoot! Don't shoot me! I can't breathe! We can't breathe! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! I can't breathe! We can't breathe! We can't breathe! I didn't want to have a, a protest or a rally at nighttime. I want to have our youth be able to come out yeah, and join us. Right. And I want to have college students be able to join us today to yeah. hear their words with some of our guest speakers and also have a voice. Such terrorism, which might be called the new 21st century version of lynchings, because that's what it is, is intended to send a message that it is so-called white people who are in control and that black people had best stay in our place and to behave as white men That's with right. guns would have us to behave. Yep. The progress towards post-liberal rights era African-American youth, the progress that they experienced has resulted in their having a much greater sense of entitlement as citizens than their parents and their grandparents. They actually expect to be treated as first-class citizens wow. and will accept nothing less. But if you are out here saying, let's change it, then let's get busy, baby, and change it. So let's get busy. 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 Amen. 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 Okay, let's pray and go home. Oswald Thomas, thank you. I want to thank all the clergy.